Good morning, people of God. Welcome to our prayer encounter. Sa umaga pong ito, sama-sama tayong mag-alay ng papurit parangal at pagsamba para sa ating dakilang Diyos. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Tayo po ay patuloy na manahan sa Kanyang presensya. King
to the King of all kings, to the Lord of all lords. All praises to the author and the perfecter of our faith. Lord, this morning, we bless you. We want to glorify your holy name. We exalt your name up high, Jesus. We thank you for your holy presence, dear Holy Spirit. And as we pray, allow us to have a heart that is broken before you, God. Lord, we admit that apart from you, we are nothing. But because of your enablement, we can declare and we can stand and dwell in this day to pray. Lord, we thank you for our country, Philippines. Lord, lubos po kami nagpapasalamat sa aming bansang Pilipinas. Lord, we declare that your blessing will be upon our country, Philippines. You declare in your word that blessed is the nation whose the Lord is God. We apply your blood in the Son, Visayas, and Mindanao. And we thank you, Lord, for the blessing to overflow in our country. Lord, we are also praying for our president. We thank you for the life of our president. Lord, give him the wisdom and the courage to lead our country. Lord, salamat po for leading our country in order and integrity. Lord, salamat po for we pray for your divine protection to cover our president. Lord, salamat din po sa aming governance. Lord, thank you for our government. Salamat po on every department of our government. Sa executive, sa legislative, and even into the judiciary. Lord, patuloy ikaw ang siyang magbigay sa kanila na kakayahan na magtalaga, mag-execute ng mga programs and plans and even the rules, the laws, and the justice in our country. Lord, we declare your peace and order to govern in our country. Salamat po, Ama, dahil ikaw ang patuloy nagagabay sa aming bansa. 
Lord, we are also praying for our economy. Lord, we declare economic stability sa aming bansang Pilipinas. Kami po'y lubos na nagpapasalamat for indeed you are going to bless every Filipino people. Lahat ng nagtatrabaho, lahat ng negosyante, lahat ng mga negosyo ay payayamanin mo sa pangalan ni Jesus. Lord, we declare your abundance to be upon our country in the name of Jesus. And right now, God, we are rebuking poverty in the land. Lord, salamat po dahil patuloy ikaw ang magpapasagana sa aming bansa. Lord, we are also rebuking any works of the enemy in our country. We are rebuking idolatry. We are casting out corruption in our country. Lord, salamat po Ama dahil patuloy ikaw ang magiging Diyos ng aming bansa. Lord, we are also praying for national revival. Lord, we are declaring your protection, your healing to manifest in our country. Lord, deliver us from this pandemic, COVID-19. And Lord, we are declaring your miracle to manifest, your signs and wonders to be experienced by every Filipino people. Lord, salamat po. Dahil ikaw din ang nagtatalaga ng karunungan sa aming scientific community. Lord, allow them to discover the potent vaccine against this pandemic, O oh Lord. Lord, salamat po for you will supply them the protection and all the things that they are needing for the progress of our country. Lord, we are also praying for our frontliners. Ikaw ang patuloy na magbigay sa kanila ng kalakasan. Bigyan niyo po sila ng karunungan. And even the strength that they are needing every day of their life. Lord, salamat po. We are also praying for our province, Pampanga. Lord, we thank you for our government here in Pampanga. Lord, salamat po sa buhay ng aming gobernador and even to our mayor, so God. Lord, salamat po for indeed we are, you are going to surround these people with godly advisors, so God. Lord, salamat po. And we rebuke and renounce every, any self-interest sa aming gobyerno, O Lord. Lord, salamat po for the peace and order here in Pampanga. Salamat po for the revival. We apply the blood of Jesus over Pampanga. Salamat po, Ama, dahil patuloy ikaw ang siyang magpapaluhod sa bawat kapampangan, declaring that, that you are their Lord. Salamat po, Ama, for, for our church. Lord, we, we thank you and we bless you with our church, O God. Ama, salamat po for the unity of the body of Christ. Lord, salamat for, a rapid, for the rapid evangelization of our country using these churches, O Lord. Ama, we declare your holiness and your fruitfulness to be upon every churches around Philippines, O God. Lord, salamat po for you are going to raise up more servant leaders and pastors among your people. Lord, we are also declaring your glory, your blessing to be upon our outages. Lord, we pray for hills of glory, Magalang. We are praying for hills of glory, Pandakaki. We are declaring your blessing to be upon hills of glory, Mabalakat. And even hills of glory, Masantol. We are also praying for our hills of glory, Hong Kong. Hills of glory, Concepcion. Lord, Ikaw ang patuloy na maging Diyos ng aming simbahan. Ang iyong presensya ang siyang manahan sa aming pananambahan. Lord, continually let your presence dwell in our, in our ministry, so Lord. Salamat po, Ama, sa iyong mapagpalang kamay. You are about to, to do such wonderful things in our ministries. Let your signs, wonders, and miracles manifest in our ministry. Lord, thank you for the spiritual growth. Lord, thank you for the spiritual maturity. 
Lord, thank you for the holiness and fruitfulness to be abundant in our ministries in the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you for financial breakthroughs and promotion among your people. Lord, patuloy niyo pong pagyamanin ang bawat isa. Lord, patuloy niyo pong protectionan ang bawat isa. Lord, thank you for the good health. Thank you for your overflowing anointing and blessing to be upon every members of your church. Lord, salamat po. We are also praying for our families, so God. Lord, tapat ka sa iyong mga pangako. And right now, we are declaring revival. We are declaring restoration in every family here in Hills of Glory. Lord, salamat po dahil patuloy mong pinagpapala ang bawat pamilya. Lord, protectionan niyo po sila. Pagalingin niyo po sila. At you, as, as we declare and apply the blood of yours in our families, let your breakthroughs overflow in every family, so God. Salamat po, Ama, for we also bless our mentors. Lord, salamat po sa kanilang mga buhay. Lord, as they continually pastor your flocks. Lord, allow them to be blessed by you. Lord, ikaw ang nakakaalam ng ninanais na kanilang mga puso. Continually grant every desires of their heart. Lord, salamat po. We bless our mentors. We give them a good help. Give them the breakthroughs that they are waiting for. And alam ko, Ama, na ikaw ang siyang mananagana sa aming mga mentors, so oh God. Lord, we thank you also to the country Israel. Salamat po sa bansang Israel. Sinabi mo sa inyong mga salita, sino mo magpala sa Israel ay patuloy mo din pagpapalain. Lord, right now, we declare blessing upon Israel in the name of Jesus. Lord, we are also praying for our personal petitions, O Lord. Lord, we are declaring your manifestation sa aming hills of glory, prayer warriors chat group, O Lord. Patuloy mong iparanas ang kagalingan sa lahat na nangangailangan sa lahat ng may sakit at karamdaman. Lord, your healing, your miracle, your signs and wonders to manifest in their life in the name of Jesus. Lord, sa umagang ito, kami lubos na nagpapasalamat. We are in awe of your wonders, O God. Lord, sa salitang mapapangaral sa umagang ito, hayaan mo na ikaw ang patuloy na mangusap sa lahat ng nakikinig. Lord, touch their heart. Renew their spirit, O God. And allow your fire to be a blaze in their life in the name of Jesus. Lord, salamat po. You deserve all the glory, honor, and adoration. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, this we pray. Amen. Amen. And this morning, allow me to share understanding God's will. As believers, we have a relational knowledge of God. And one thing we know is that His will is good, pleasing, and perfect. Let us open our Bible in Romans chapter 12, verse 1 to 2. It says, Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your body as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Apostle Paul gave us reminder for us to test and approve God's will, which is good, pleasing, and perfect. So we need to, first, offer our bodies as a pleasing sacrifice. Pinaalalahanan din niya tayo na do not conform to the pattern of this world. And lastly, 
be transformed by the renewing of our mind. Ang tanong, do you ever struggle in understanding God's will? Kung minsan or madalas ang sagot natin ay oo. Pero are we forgetting that God's will is characterized as good, pleasing, and perfect? Why do you struggle? Dahil ba mahirap gawin ang mga nabanggit, yung offer our bodies as a pleasing sacrifice, do not conform to the pattern of this world, be transformed by the renewing of our mind. Huwag natin kakalimutan ang phrase na in view of God's mercy. Wherein Paul exhorts us in light of the manifold mercy of God. Our obedience is the product of what God has done in our lives, not something we can manufacture of our own. For us to understand God's will, Jesus showed us how to do it. Jesus prayed to understand God's will. In Luke chapter 22, verse 42, ipinakita ni Jesus ang kanyang pagkatao At ito yung pagkakataon that he prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane with literally blood, sweat, and tears which signifies the pain, the sorrow, and the agony he's going through. Saying in the verse 42, sabi niya, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me, yet not my will, but yours be done. If you are going through a difficult time, whatever it is, if you are going through difficult time, whatever it is, it's safe to say Jesus dealt with feelings far more painful than you ever will. Hindi lang siya pinahirapan at namatay for his relationship with and obedience to God. Tandaan nyo, it may not be the easiest way but as believers, we live with the certainty that God's will is better than ours. We rejoice that we may not in charge, but rather the holy God of heaven and on earth will be in charge. What I admired with Jesus is that he walked toward it willingly with the intention of obedience unto death. To the point na he clearly bargained with what would happen to him sa mga susunod na oras at araw ng kanyang pananatili sa lupa. At pinagdaanan niya yon ng mag-isa. Again, those thoughts about what to happen ay patuloy na tumakbo sa kanyang isipan. Actually, uh, mayroon naman siyang kasama. Three of his closest friends whom he brought along with him that evening for his prayer support. Kaso sa halip na tumulong, they couldn't stay awake to pray for him. Kakaiba ang persistence ni Jesus. He continued without change in prayer. It is to the point of blood and sweat. Yet he ultimately wanted God's will, not his, to happen. Jesus' prayer was a beautiful example to us of absolute obedience unto death. Sa kanyang paghahanap ng kaluwalhatian ng Diyos, kahit ano pa ang idudulot nito sa kanya. In Hebrews chapter 4, verse 15 to 16, it says, For we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weakness, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we can receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. His struggle in prayer that night in the garden is an evidence that we have a high priest who can sympathize with our weaknesses our temptations and struggles and therefore we can draw near to him with confidence when we have a need. Ang panalangin ni Jesus in the garden 
ay nagpapakita rin na dinanas niya na lahat ng pwedeng maranasan din natin when it comes to trials of this life. Pinakita niya rin kung ano ang itsura na maput aside ang sariling comfort and convenience and his very life and give himself wholeheartedly and trustingly in the hands of his Father just to do his will. What a perfect example of understanding the will of our all-knowing, all-powerful, all-loving Heavenly Father. So things we need to remember this morning. Una, pray to understand God's will. God is telling us to pray continually. Panalangin aalang patna. So let's continually pray. Non-stop praying. Regular praying. Uh, God also wants us to pray so that we will not fall into temptation. The reason kung bakit nahihirapan ka on understanding God's will, you are still flirting with the devil. So number two, this morning, I want you to remember that we need to follow God's will even out of our convenience. Remember in Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, it says, And we already declared that I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Let us accept it. This life that we have are committed to follow the will of God no matter what. Ikatlo, rejoice for God's will is good, pleasing, and perfect. Let us rejoice forevermore. Because ang will sa atin ng Panginoon ay maganda, kaaya-aya, at perfecto. The more we study the Word of God, the more we become acquainted with the things which are pleasing to Him and which He desires in the lives of His children, in the lives of us who believes. And for my conclusion, allow God to teach what to pray according to the perfect example that He demonstrated in His dwelling here on earth through His Son, Jesus Christ. Let us pray continually what Jesus prayed for us to understand God's will. Let us follow God's will no matter what. And let us rejoice for indeed God's will is good, pleasing, and perfect. So tandaan natin, in order for us to understand God's will, always draw near to God. So I invite everyone to pray. Lord God, help us to understand your perfect will. This morning, allow us to pray continually with you. Lord, allow us to know and understand your good, pleasing, and perfect will for our lives. Lord, patuloy po kami po ay mananalangin para maintindihan namin kung ano ang mga naisin mo sa aming mga buhay. Lord, as we pray, reveal to us the things that you want us to do. Lord, we are also praying and we are also committing ourselves to follow you no matter what, even out of our convenience. Lord, salamat po dahil patuloy kami po ay naniniwala that we can rejoice in your perfect will. Salamat po for you are declaring your blessing among your people right now. Allow them to understand your perfect will. At hayaan mo sa umagang ito na patuloy ikaw ay aming maparangalan at mapurihan. Hayaan mo na kami po ay manampalataya sa iyong mga salita at sundin namin ang iyong kalooban. Lord, we declare your blessing all throughout this day. Guide us, shower us with your blessing your anointing, and your favor so that we can walk uprightly 
every day of our life. Salamat po Ama, ito po ang aming samot na langin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen.